Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick video about um, the baby stuff that we have. Because, uh, yeah, and not to mention I wanted to show my parents that this is the camera that I plan on giving them because we got a new camera and I just wanted to let them know that I'm not giving them like a piece of shit camera. This is it. Mm -hmm. So it still works. So I figured I'd do a quick tour of... Um, all the baby stuff that we have. We don't have a nursery for them because we don't have the room, but I mean we, we're making do with what we have, so I will get us started. So this is our room and um, I'm gonna first show you the baby crib, which is right here. <laughs> Yay! So we already have it decorated. Um, we have this sheep theme because we figured it was very neutral and since we only have one crib for both a boy and a girl that a sheep theme would be good. So we have some diapers down there. We have that pack and play. And then the reason why I have all this stuff in here is because I wanted to make sure that the cats stayed out of the crib and so far it's been working. They're pretty... they just sniffed it up and they didn't really jump in here. I think because it kind of reminds them of their carriers so they don't really go in here. Um, we've got a couple baby stuff in here. TV. And then this is our changing table. Again, I have stuff on top for the cats, so they don't jump on there. There's still a couple things we haven't finished off, like, um, packing up the diaper bag, which is that. Um, this is a hamper for them to put their dirty laundry in. I plan on hanging it on the door here. Um, this is their baby monitor that needs to go near the crib. A baby wipe warmer and baby wipes. And then I got these little uh, compartment thingies from Target. And I got it in boy-girl colors because, you know, boy-girl, blah, blah, blah. And it has, like, little trinkets like baby lotion, diaper rash stuff, uh, baby powder. And then this one has all their shampoos and lotions. And this has, like, extra stuff that I couldn't figure out where to put it, so I put it here. And then this one has extra baby wipes. And then down here is all the newborn diapers that we got. And our diaper genie. So, nothing too exciting. So, changing table, baby crib. Onward to the next uh, area, which is our office. And that's where we keep the majority of our other baby stuff. Um, this is my vanity. That used to have my makeup in it, but not anymore. I got these from Build-A-Bear. They're cute. Um, this is a shower caddy that we got them. To uh, have all their baby stuff ready for showering. Not showering. Taking a bath. Like their uh, washcloths, their towels a little brush for their hair, and then this has a uh, shampoo, body wash, and then like a little bath time thing. So what we can do is grab this, grab the bathtubs, and take it to the bathroom. It's very convenient, very easy. You don't have to worry about, oh my god, where's such and such? So yeah, um, this first drawer has all their bibs, um, their little uh, knit caps or whatever. Um, she doesn't have as much as he does. He has a lot more, so I need to get more for her. And she also has, like, little bows and stuff in here. Uh, these are all their mittens for their hands. Shoes. Adidas. Got a sport Adidas. <laughs> and then all of the socks that we have for them. And then the second drawer has all their towels and bath stuff. So these are all hooded towels. This is all girls, all boys, um, all their washcloths. I have a bit more boys and girls, and I don't feel like separating them too much because, you know, I don't really care. They're going to get washed anyway. doesn't matter if it's boy or girl. Um, some extra towels. And then these are like uh, robes that we can put them in, and they look so cute. This one has an octopus. This one has, I think, a whale. So that's that for that. Um, over here, I have uh, some books for them. This is like a 
baby essential kit with like brushes and thermometers and nail clippers and stuff for them for me to take care of them. Tons of lotions and books for mommy because I have no idea what I'm doing as far as taking care of kids. So hopefully those will help me out. Um, these are where their toys are. And the reason why I have them covered is because cat toys and baby toys look very similar. And then down there we have some tummy mats. And we also have tummy mats here, so I don't know which ones to keep. I'm still kind of confused. But anyway, <laughs> on to the closet. So we'll start from here. So here in the closet we have um, all the receiving blankets as well as some uh, blankets for the crib. We got some quilts back there for the crib. And then these two are crib sets. This is a boy set and this is a girl set. But since we only have one crib right now, I figured there's no point in putting them one in the other. Okay. So we have these cool little carts here, which I've yet to fill up because um, I'm still in the process of sa sanitizing all their bottles and pacifiers. So I'm probably going to put them somewhere in this area. But for now, I'll show you what I got. Um, we got these kangaroo pouches, um, some extra clothes, and then all of these are clothes that are not going to fit them yet. So, like, we got some six to nine, or sorry, three to six, six to nine. And I just have them stored here, so um, when they grow out of their preemie clothes and newborn clothes, I have those ready to be put up here. And I have it organized. Um, to where it says preemie, and then this one says zero to three and newborn, and I just made these out of a cardboard box, so nothing too fancy. And then I have it separated from boys to girls, and then I have it separated from like onesies to long sleeve onesies to sleepers and so on and so forth. So it starts with the boys on this side for newborn. So if I close that and open this other side, and then the boy's newborn ends here, and the girl's newborn starts here, and goes up until right about here, to where all the other sizes start to uh, show up, like three to six, six to nine, so on and so forth. And then I have another one of these carts with plenty of space. I have all their burp cloths here. Um, some extra sheets, and then some extra blankets down here. Again, I'm still sanitizing their uh, baby bottles and pacifiers and some of the toys that I got that were like exposed, so that's probably where I'll end up putting that stuff in there. So that's that. Uh, let's see. Oh, ah. So I also have, um, let's see, I also have like high chairs their car seats, um, I have one swing, and I have their bouncers, like, you kind of put them in there, and they kind of wiggle, it vibrates or whatever, but that's all in the garage, I haven't brought it up yet, because I figured, um, a lot of that stuff I'm not going to need until, uh, until it's time for them to get a little older, and then I have, like, all, um, their strollers and stuff in the garage, too, so, that's about it. Um, that's all their baby stuff, nothing too fancy, just practical stuff for them now, and then, um, we'll just see how it goes when they come out. So, that's the belly, nothing special, yay. And then, just to show my mom that this camera still works, and it does video, so if she ever wants to use it as a video, she can. But, um, we're not sending them a piece of crap, so, <laughs> uh, that's all I got. So, um, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Cheers. Peace.